Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to my playthrough of X-Men Legends 2. I'm planning on trying to 100% this game, or at least to the best of my knowledge, so... Hopefully, we'll be able to do everything. That old early 2000s Marvel logo. I don't know if they still use that. I don't really watch Marvel movies anymore. I kind of stopped around the time the first Avengers movie came out because I just, I, I was not into MCU. You know, a lot of people love them. I, I'm sorry. I just thought they were just not good movies. I did not get it. And as you can tell by this main menu, this version of the game is modded, as you can hear the animated series music playing here. Uh, I just I just had to put it in, you know. That song is so good. Everyone, everyone I know, always talks about this song. If they grew up watching X Men, of course, they just love this song so much. And just having it play right here, uh, it it makes me so happy. Alright, let's get into this. I'm going to be doing it on normal. I tried hard, and it was... the Basically, it starts you at level 50, and all the enemies are going to be level 50 and above. And it's not really good to do unless you're loading like a previous save where you have all your stats kind of where you want them to be. And I don't really have a save for that, so I'm just going to do normal. See, it asks you right here if you want to use the default stats or a saved game stats. We're just going to use default. I can't believe how good these cutscenes look for 2005. Like, these are just so, so impressive for that year. When I replayed this game a few years ago, I couldn't believe how good this looks. I mean, obviously it's dated now, but when you put yourself back into that mind frame of 2005, like, oh man, this was impressive. Although I personally don't like these costumes they're wearing. way there you know that scene right there of cyclops oddly looked like in robocop uh i think it was two they have like those commercials of like this big buff superhero he looked just like him to me <laughs> at least the way i remember him looking Of course, you always have to have Wolverine going first, doing all his badass shit. Ah, these costumes, man. I'm sorry. They look horrible to me. Nightcrawler, we've located the professor. It's okay to teleport in. Will do. Unfortunately, I'm unable to change Nightcrawler's costume right there. As you wish. All 
But as you can see, or as you'll soon see, everyone's costume is just like how it is in the animated series, which is one of the reasons why I play this game so much, just because of these costumes, which these are all mods, so a lot of thanks to the people who made these. Storm, for some reason, looks a little weird right here. I don't know why her hair looks black right here. It must be a lighting thing, but everywhere else, she'll her hair will look white, so... It's just this place. Oh. oh, it always feels so weird to play like Magneto or Storm and not be able to fly yet since we haven't leveled up. I'm going to distribute everything myself. Mystique and Sabertooth get left behind. Sabertooth and Mystique, it looks like we're cut off. You two will have to find another way out. Let's rendezvous back at the X-Jet. I hate that they call it the X-Jet. I hate that so much. It should be called the Blackbird. I knew things were going too smoothly. <laughs> Such generic writing. So you always want to break like these barrels and boxes because they contain, you know, health packs and tech bits, which is your currency in this game. Or energy packs, too. I don't often use energy packs, though. I, I don't know why. It's like I'm always saving them, even though I don't really need to be. Oh, okay. Cyclops just uh, optic blasted the guy I was carrying. So, usually Magneto, when you do this combo right here, you see how he jumps up there, but he's not doing anything? I guess you have to level up his flight abilities for him to finish that combo. Oh, I just, I just did the wrong inputs. But usually he'll fly up like that and then dive on them. A little hurts, so I have to use a health pack. I don't often play Magneto, or really any Brotherhood characters. I'm a lot more into my, you know, mainstream X-Men team. I'll be honest with you, there's many playthroughs I've done where all I've done is just spam Optic Blast with Cyclops and do nothing else. Go ahead and open this up. Yes. Use Magneto's power there. I'll start equipping those clothes once I leave this kind of tutorial area. Oh my... <laughs> I kept turning around as I tried to hit that one barrel. Ain't you courageous. Okay, Magneto. Um, go ahead and deal with them, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why he was over there for a second. Are these are these guards stuck? Um, guys, there we go. <laughs> I guess these guys are glitched out. Oh, I'm. I think I'm hitting that thing there. Uh, I don't want to like 
be rude to the person who played Magneto in this game, but oh my god, I cannot stand his voice. I think it does not suit Magneto at all. He like really overdoes it. So, we're not supposed to go this way, but these things really aren't that strong. You can just go through here anyways. Should be using different combos since that one that I'm using isn't really the strongest. I just like using it because it uses Cyclops Optic Blast. I don't know why this guy is saying over, over and over again, <laughs> but that's pretty funny. And obviously you can break down these walls. They have some hidden areas sometimes. I think I know where most of them are because you'll find like the homing beacons or the data disks behind them and usually I find just about everything but there's still a couple that I've never been able to been able to figure out where they are you should have when you had the chance. I did not even know there was a guy back there all right let's get out of here greetings this location is known as the Sanctuary, a retreat of Magneto's. It will serve as our base of operations while we're here on the island of Genosha. Several days ago, Apocalypse attacked the city of Genosha. Magneto and several of his people were able to escape, but the rest of the populace was trapped. After helping to rescue me, Magneto requested the X-Men's aid in freeing Genosha. I could hardly refuse. All right, is this really a good idea? Having the X Men and the Brotherhood team up? Apocalypse is far too strong for either team to battle alone. I realize this is a stressful situation, but remember, thousands of lives are depending on us. We must learn to work together. How do we find out about missions and get briefings? Talking to people around camp will activate your objectives. To receive briefings, activate the mission computer here to my side. Right now, you should speak with Sabertooth. He requires aid in finding a mutant he had helped escape from Genosha. Good luck to you. Very impressive how they got Patrick Stewart to voice Xavier in this game. Yet they can't get Hugh Jackman or Ian McKellen. I would have loved to have Ian McKellen voice Magneto here. Uh, look at Beast. This Beast skin is so good. Salutations, my friend. Most agreeable to see you. Hi, Beast. It's good to see you, too. This is just some Indeed, tutorial stuff that we don't really need to know about. I can sell all manner of devices that will aid you in your missions. I can acquire potions that will replenish both of those statistics. You're the smartest X-Man, aren't you? I do have a certain penchant for learning, but I don't know if I could really lay claim to that title. But that's why you're in charge of equipment, isn't it? <laughs> Charles gave me these responsibilities because I have a knack for dealing with technical issues. But there are several other X-Men who could do that job as well, if not better than I. Forge is the first one who comes to mind. What's a homing beacon? This is more just mechanic tutorial stuff. Locate an important individual that Apocalypse is holding prisoner. But I require several of them to pinpoint the location. So, if you don't know, these homing beacons, when you collect them all, it will unlock Iron Man for you. Which I already have unlocked, so we can see him soon. Who's this important prisoner? I don't know. But from what I've heard, this person would be of immense aid to us. Uh, not to me, because I'm not a fan of Iron Man, so I don't ever use him. 
All right, so I don't really need anything to buy right now. Usually, I don't even bother buying this stuff because it's, like, way higher level than me. And you just get equipment by playing the game, so... I don't think it's all that necessary to buy this stuff. Usually, I just buy health packs. Or one of these, if you need them. It's good to see you. I trust we're finding common ground with the Brotherhood. Not quite sure about that, Professor Xavier. The Brotherhood members can be a little difficult to deal with. <laughs> it's just Cyclops straight up being an asshole. How did Apocalypse take you prisoner? I had received a communique from Dr. Moira McTaggart requesting Polaris and I meet her in Madrid. Only too late did I come to find out it was a trap. Any idea why Apocalypse wanted you? His primary target was Polaris. I was merely an afterthought. Why would P Apocalypse kidnap Polaris? I don't know, but he was adamant that she not be harmed. I'm almost certain she's in no immediate danger. Why were you being tortured? Apocalypse was determined to obtain information on Cerebro and the Xavier protocols, two areas I am particularly secretive about. Aren't the Xavier Protocols a list of all mutants in the world? Yes, and with it, Apocalypse would know every mutant's strengths and weaknesses. And their location. Indeed, and that is perhaps the most sensitive information of all. Who is Apocalypse? He was born over 5,000 years ago in Egypt, and is considered by many to be the first mutant ever born. He's 5,000 years old? That's incredible. Apocalypse could very well be immortal. He's a metamorph, capable of turning his body into a variety of weapons. But what's most dangerous is his ideology. Survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest? Apocalypse believes the strong should destroy the weak. This, he feels, would create a powerful civilization worthy of him to rule over. Why are the Brotherhood and X-Men working together? Can't you figure that one out already, Cyclops? Magneto asked for the X-Men's assistance. He feels Apocalypse is too powerful for the Brotherhood to defeat alone. Isn't there someone else Magneto could go to for help? Perhaps, but none he could depend on in the heat of battle. You see, even though we differ in ideology, Magneto knows he can trust my word. And I know that I can trust his. Thank you, Professor Xavier. Quite welcome. Now, this is the mission briefing computer, but I don't believe we have anything in here yet. Yeah. Alright, let's uh, switch out our team. So, I'm not using any modded characters. I have the original roster but they all have some pretty neat skins so i'll go ahead and show you guys that let's go ahead for these guys cyclops <clears throat> we have the jim lee costume also with the jacket uh age of apocalypse his original costume his 70s 80s look and X Factor. I have two versions of the Jim Lee skin because I think this one is a little bit better. I like the way his visor looks. Um, who do we want? So we got Bishop, Colossus, Deadpool. Not gonna use Deadpool. I do not like Deadpool. Gambit, Iceman. I, you know, fun fact. I did not like Iceman as a kid, but he's really grown on me. Iron Man, we will not be using. Juggernaut, Magneto, Nightcrawler, Jean Grey, Professor Xavier, Pyro, Rogue, Scarlet Witch, Storm, Sunfire, who... I'm still confused to this day why they added in Sunfire. Toad, Wolverine, Sabretooth, and that's it. So, let's get Gambit in here. So we have his original costume. Uh, I don't know what these are. This one's that blue and gold one during that Jim Lee era. Another one of his original, which I think looks just a little bit better. 
So there's one thing you could do in this game, and there's perk bonuses if you have certain team members. So if we get Jean Grey and Rogue in here, we get that double date buff. That's 20 health per KO. Little neat bonuses, but not really necessary. I don't know why that one Jean screen... Jean screen, Jean Grey skin is kind of glitched out. It's uh pretty strange. I don't know what happened there. But I actually do not like Jean Grey, so I will not be using her. We might keep Rogue in. Got her classic costume here. I wish. Beast was a playable character in the game. That was one thing that I was really upset by. Was that you cannot play as Beast. Hmm. The Colossus and Nightcrawler are some of my favorites. But they were not so much in the animated series. Which is usually the type of team I want to go for. So maybe we'll get Wolverine in here. We have his X-Force costume, Age of Apocalypse, his classic brown and tan, Weapon X, and I don't know what these are. Those are kind of ugly. Bishop, I, I do like Bishop a lot. But I think we'll be sticking with this team here. We could add in Storm as well. I may also switch the team up as we go along, just to keep it a little fresh. But for now, we'll keep it like this. We can level up Cyclops and Wolverine. Now, I don't know what the best way to level up their stats is because speed is kind of weird. So there's a lot of times where you'll punch an enemy and no damage will happen. And I believe it has to do with this speed stat. Because it does say it increases the chance to hit. But there's a dodge mechanic. It's not an active mechanic where you have to push a button to dodge. It's like a, a dice roll. So I don't know if dodging is what the enemy is doing or how this actually works. But... It happens often enough to where I'm missing, to where I feel like I need to get speed up, generally. And with Cyclops, I want a lot of focus. Wait a minute, where's his... Optic Blast? What the... Uh, there's something wrong here. Why are some of his skills missing? I did not mean to leave the uh that menu. Wonder if it has to do with the skin. There we go. Is that because of the skin I had on? Oh no, it was just a weird glitch that happened, I guess. Huh. That was strange. So, leadership... I don't know how good this is. This increases combo XP, which I guess is kind of cool. And your critical chance, but I don't think it's really worth putting the points into. So, we'll go ahead and get Optic Slam for now. And with Wolverine. Wolverine has a skill in here somewhere. I believe it's... Yeah, Enhanced Senses. So, you can just have him up his speed naturally through these skills. Then you can focus these points straight into whatever you really want. We'll do Body and Strike. 
And he has a lot of good skills. I like to take Might, just in case there's anything big I need to pick up. You know, might as well get that out of the way now. The Rogue will be able to pick up heavy objects, so... That might have been a waste. So, over here, we have a trivia machine. I'll do this at the end of the recording session. And let's see if there's any other NPCs around to talk to. I believe it's just Sabertooth at the moment. Although more will show up here as we progress. I think I also want to only have one member in the team when exploring around these hub areas. Because sometimes one of these characters could actually show up here as someone to talk to. I know Wolverine will show up as a NPC you can talk to in the Weapon X facility. Hello, Sabretooth. No. Never thought I'd see the day. The Brotherhood be working alongside you, x -Mukes. We're enjoying this as much as you, Sabretooth. Listen, much as I hate it, I need your help. A couple of hours ago, I went to Genosha. To rescue a kid named Blink. But one thing led to another, and we wound up fighting a bunch of guards. You've never been known for working quietly. Shut your yap or I'll... Never mind. Anyway, during the fight, Blink was going to teleport us to the dead zone. But she got hit and disappeared without me. I wound up having to slug my way out of there alone. And now you need us to f f to find Blink somewhere in the dead zone. Yeah, yeah, I do. Go see that mission computer if you want a full briefing. All right, so we have a briefing unlocked. Why did you try to rescue Blink? What are you talking about? Let's face facts. Rescuing people really isn't your style. Mm, maybe it ain't, but I wasn't about to leave the kid unprotected. There's no telling what Apocalypse would do to her. You know, I'm thinking I should try to impersonate these characters. At least, you know, their animated series voices. While doing these, uh, these dialogue scenes. But I would butcher their accents and voices so horribly. So I don't want to try. How did Blink wind up in the dead zone? When I was trying to get her out of Genosha, a bunch of Apocalypse's guards jumped us. And that's when Blink tried to teleport you to the dead zone? Yeah, but she got clobbered by a guard. Next thing I know, she's gone, and I'm left there on my own. And let me tell you, the guard that hit Blink ain't ever gonna draw another breath without the help of a machine, if you catch my drift. When did you first meet Blink? Hmm. I found her a couple of years back at some mutant testing facility. I was doing some recon work for Magneto. Poor kid was in a cell, all helpless and alone. So I busted her out of the joint. But weren't there other mutants at that testing facility? Why didn't you free them? <clears throat> she was a defenseless kid. Didn't have no one to help her. Now shut up about it. You're giving me a headache. Uh, that didn't answer my question, Sabretooth. What's the dead zone? It's where the air fleets of Magneto and Apocalypse had their last big battle. The ground's covered with crashed ships. Why is that? Even though Magneto's aircraft weren't that high tech, his pilots put up a hell of a fight. So Apocalypse fired off an EMP bomb that fried ships on both sides. You're becoming a real softy, Sabretooth. <laughs> Don't make me hurt you. I like how we just randomly said that as we're walking away from him. Sabretooth has just informed us that a citizen of Genosha has escaped. Unfortunately, she's hurt and in an area known as the Dead Zone. Who is it? A young woman named Blink. Sabretooth had gone to Genosha to rescue her. That don't sound right. Sabretooth tried to save someone. Don't think too hard on it, Tiny. Because he wouldn't ever save an X-Man. Question is, 
Who's gonna save you, Bullethead? Cut it out, you two. Let the professor talk. Let's get one thing straight, Boy Scout. I don't take orders from you. See? It's just like I told you, Psych. Juggernaut ain't housebroken yet. Gentlemen, please. Let us focus on more important matters. Who's Blink? She's a very gifted mutant with the ability to teleport. So she's like Nightcrawler? Only in the vaguest sense. Blink can teleport as far away as the moon. Wow. That sure leaves the elf in the dust. Did you say Blink might be hurt? Yes. She was injured while attempting to teleport out of Genosha. And that is why a team of you is needed to immediately begin searching the dead zone for this young woman. Good luck to you. So I believe Juggernaut is voiced by John DiMaggio, who is the voice of Bender from Futurama. And there is Blink. According to Sabretooth, this is the site of the last large battle for Genosha. It was almost entirely fought with airships. When it looked as though he wasn't going to win, Apocalypse detonated an EMP bomb that crashed both fleets. Somewhere in this mess is a wounded young mutant named Blink. We have to find her. As you can see, here's a little spot that we could use. Oh, we cannot fly yet. That we could use uh, Iceman. I need to level up Rogue's flight right away. I cannot pick this up? Okay. Guess I was full on uh, energy packs. There's absolutely no point in actually blowing out that fire there. And right here is just a shortcut. One of my problems with this game over the original X-Men Legends is I feel like in this one... You're fighting a lot of bug or other animal type of enemies, which is pretty weird. You would think you'd have more fights with sentinels. Unfortunately, we cannot do anything about that just yet. Not until we level up Rogue. Right now, Gambit is only throwing one card, but once we level up his card shuffle skill, I believe it's called, he'll start throwing more. I believe he can throw up to five, but I'm not too sure since I've never actually maxed out that skill of his. I may try to, just to see how many he can throw. Although, in this game, you're not often going to max out any stats. Like, you could really, really level up a bunch. I'm going to give this to Wolverine here. Oh, we got her leveled up. Uh, let's go with some speed. Do two in speed and then one in body and strike. All right, let's give her some flight. Sure thing. Right now, this is costing a whole lot of EP, so we cannot fly for too long just yet. Isn't really anything worthwhile right here. Go. 
Go ahead and switch over to Gambit. <laughs> it seems like whenever my game kind of... It gets like a little lag spike here and there for some reason. And whenever that happens, the characters will just keep repeating whatever they had just said. That must be Blink, but she is unconscious. We'll have to work fast if we're going to save her from those animals. Oh, we got a lot of level ups right there. Oh, uh, these stupid spiders. They'll, they'll shoot out spider webs or something, and then you'll get like that. You step in them, and then you're stuck in that animation. Hello, Blink. Oh. Rogue just stepped in some spider webs. I'm with the X-Men. The X-Men? What are they doing here? It's a long story. For right now, let's just be happy we found you. Are you alright? My head's a little sore, but I'll be fine. Why are you in the dead zone? Mr. Creed snuck into Genosha to rescue me. But one thing led to another, and we were surrounded by guards. Just as I was about to teleport us to safety, I was hit on the head. So that's why you wound up here and Sabretooth was left in Genosha. Gosh, I didn't even think about that. Is Mr. Creed okay? He's fine. It'd take more than a couple dozen guards to slow Sabretooth down. Why did Sabretooth go to Genosha? You, to rescue me. Sabretooth's capable of a lot of things, but not an act of kindness. I appreciate you not talking like that about Mr. Creed. I know people say he's mean, but he has a good heart. Can you make it to the sanctuary by yourself? That's a snap. I just need to wait a little bit for my head to clear. Good. Both the X-Men and the Brotherhood have set up camp there. They're working together? Wow. Apocalypse must be really powerful if Magneto went to the X-Men for help. See you back at the sanctuary. And thanks for saving me. You did an exemplary job rescuing Blink. Your next objective is to locate the security codes needed to enter Genosha. It is believed the crashed airships in the dead zone will contain the desired codes. Say, if you're looking to get to the next island, you're gonna need my help. Let me create two portals to get you there. Thanks, it's Blink. No trouble. Tell you what, I'll even port the entire team to camp and back whenever you want. You'd be willing to do that? Sure. It's my mutant ability. Why not use it to help defeat Apocalypse? All right. Be careful in this area. Hello, Forge. Just detected that someone's activated a Genosian automated defensive system. Reconnaissance drones are going to be painting moving targets for tactical missile strikes. So if you see a beam of light, keep away from it. Yeah, he is going to repeat that a lot and will never let us forget for a moment to get away from that thing. Any idea how the system was turned on? So if we can find the communication dish, we can deactivate the defensive system. Yes. Keep an eye out for it. A piece of equipment like that shouldn't be hard to find. All right. You sure you want to keep this up? Don't get dreams, y'all. Let's go ahead and level up some of these characters here. I'll do two in speed, two in focus. Uh, we cannot get Mutant Master yet, which is what we really want. We cannot level up Optic Beam, unfortunately, so... I think I'm just gonna hold on to this skill point. I'll be equipping whatever I have on him, plus two focus. Gambit, we want focus. Uh, maybe Strike to... Kind of hard for me to choose what I want to go with because of speed. Now, energy combat, 
I don't know how good this really is. I feel like it's not that useful, but usually I just get it about halfway here until it's about 100% damage. Uh, it doesn't seem that helpful to me. Energy form is a buff. I don't know if I really want that. I like to use powers that I feel like actually make sense to the characters. Like Gambit having a energy form, that doesn't sound like something Gambit can do. So I may just ignore that skill. We'll leave the striking for either Rogue or Wolverine. And Wolverine doesn't really... Well, we'll put one in there and then... We'll mostly focus on striking for him. So Wolverine. Wolverine has a lot of good stuff. Berserker Rage is great. May give that to him. Kind of want to get this up right away because 13 seconds really isn't that long. Although for most fights, it's probably long enough. Now, I am actually going to head back to camp here at Sanctuary. See if we have any new briefings. Would... Yes, yeah, so you'll get new mission briefings, but the game won't really tell you about it, so you have to come back here every now and then if you want to see them. Let me begin this meeting by saying I'm encouraged by how well our venture went with Blink. Like I care what you think, little brother. Watch it, Jugs. You better mind your manners. I'm guessing your mutant power is the ability to absorb pain. Because no one talks to me like that. I'm not looking for a fight. All I want is for you to show Professor Xavier a little respect. Like the respect you X-Men have been showing us? Oh, that's bloody rich. Ever since you've come to Genosha, you've been treating us like we got the plague. If you ask me, you're all a bunch of uptight snobs. Y'all better watch your tongue, Toad. Before I decide to take it for a trophy. Silence! Let Xavier speak. Thank you, Eric. To free Genosha, we must first acquire the security codes for the city's doors. Doesn't Magneto already know them? No. The codes were computer-generated daily and transmitted to the airships. I can only hope Apocalypse hasn't figured out how to generate new codes. So the airships out in the dead zone should contain the latest security codes? Correct. And that is why a team is needed to venture further into the dead zone. There they can retrieve access codes from the computer of a downed airship. Ha! Maybe you better save me for a bigger mission. This one sounds like it's gonna be a cakewalk. We can only hope. Be on your way. And be on your guard. Good luck. Really wish I could change the costumes for those cutscenes, but... Unfortunately, these costumes that I have equipped on here, they don't work for those. Someone would actually have to make whole new ones to work for those cutscenes. I believe Blink is... Yep, she's right here. Wow, an X-Man. I've heard a lot about you guys. You're Blink, right? How are you doing? Other than a bump on my head, I'm fine. But I would have been in pretty sad shape if I hadn't been saved from the dead zone. How did you wind up unconscious in the dead zone? Sort of we already been through this. I was teleporting out of a big fight. Who are you fighting? Prison guards. But Mr. Creed was doing most of the fighting. I had meant to teleport him with me to the dead zone, but then I was knocked out. Mr. Creed? Oh, you mean Sabretooth. What was he doing in Genosha? <laughs> We're just repeating ourselves here. He had come to save me. Why would Sabretooth save you? I don't know. He's always doing stuff like that. No, he isn't. Normally, he's trying to kill people. <laughs> Man, just throwing a whole bunch of shade at Sabretooth. That's not true. Sure, he's gruff on the outside, but deep down, he's got a good heart. If he's got a good heart, it's because he ripped it out of someone's chest. <laughs> Damn, just roasting him. 